Motor Week is made possible by Rock Auto and Tire Rack. The temperature is heading low, 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 so you know it must be January. But that actually pushes our spirits high, for it's also time for Detroit's 2016 North American International Auto Show. So let's grab a first-hand look at all of this year's headliners from the Motor City. 2015 was a very good year for automakers with an all-time U.S. sales record, and they came prepared for more heydays ahead starting with plenty of new toys and tools from the Detroit 3 to keep the good times rolling. A new minivan might not seem like earth-shaking news, but when it comes to family tools, it can't be beat. And FCA has thoroughly retooled its minivan from platform to name. So it's out with the town and country and in with the 2017 Pacifica. Shapely with a 200-like front end, updated Pentastar V6 power, 360-degree cameras, better stow-and-go seating, as well as hands-free opening for rear hatch and side sliders. Plus, a full hybrid with 30-mile EV range is now part of the lineup. Chrysler hopes you'll be saying goodbye, crossover, hello, minivan. With all of the since 1941 logos on Jeeps in recent years, we saw this one coming as FCA celebrates the brand's 75th anniversary with special editions across the lineup. Less than a year after it debuted as a concept, the production Lincoln Continental arrives for real. Well executed outside and in with standard all-wheel drive and a new EcoBoost V6, it could be just what the long struggling brand needs to get back in the luxury car game. Car things were quieter over at the Blue Oval brand where Ford unveiled a facelift for their mid-sized Fusion sedan, saving the flash for its upcoming Raptor pickup, now a new crew cab as well as extended cab form. Both boast twin turbo V6, 10-speed transmission and more off-road attitude than ever. Over at the bow tie booth, Chevrolet's big news was small, a Euro-styled hatchback version of their 2017 Cruze Compact, along with the production version of the Chevy Bolt EV after its official unveil the week prior at the Consumer Electronics Show. So far, GM is holding steady on the $30,000 price point. Now all that remains is to see if it lives up to the 200-mile-plus range claims. The biggest GM delight at Detroit was, for the second year in a row, from the once over-the-hill Buick brand. The bold and gorgeous Avista Concept Coupe may share the Camaro's proportions, but if it ever reaches showrooms, it would be the performance luxury halo model the brand needs for a full comeback. Definitely destined to fill out their lineup is this two-row Buick Envision crossover. This mid-sizer will be the first made-in-China model for a Detroit automaker, and the timing couldn't be better. Speaking of timing, the long-overdue second-generation GMC Acadia three-row crossover is here. Surprisingly, in a bigger-is-better world, the still professional-grade-looking Acadia actually loses both size and weight to better compete with the likes of the Honda Pilot and Toyota Highlander. Heinrich Fisker is still around, and he's now enlisted former Detroit executive Bob Lutz to help him launch VLF Automotive's Force One, a carbon fiber bodied beauty rolling on a Viper chassis. But that just caps off the domestic brand side of things, as we'll widen to a global view when we return later in this show with more from the 2016 North American International Auto Show.